Paul, Gary Gate, and Marichek on that extra man. Let them shoot. Loose ball behind the Hawkins. That is a goal. And Zilberti is home for his mistake. Marichek and Dumpson and Zilberti, along with Burns, all inside the attack box in the extra man situation for Syracuse. We're tied at 11. Canadians will kill you, and that's all finishers. And there's Zilberti. Zilberti with a shot and a goal. They scored. They say he wasn't in the crease area when he took the shot, and Syracuse got the lead. Paul Gate. Legging it into the box. Will he give it up? He feeds the crease, and Zilberti gets the goal. John Zilberti got the feed from Paul Gate. So Syracuse's leading assist man gets his second goal of the game, and Paul Gate made that one possible. 16-7. to seven. Really nice. Watch the, watch the pass. It just kind of floats right where it's supposed to. Nice, perfectly placed. And oh, I won't do it. Stay back. Zilberti in front, and it's scored. That's Marichek. Marichek makes the shot to Zilberti. Zilberti in front to Gate, and it's a score. Deflects in, gives the goal to Gary Gate. Bullet was corralled by Quint Keschnick, who's doing the rain dance around the crease area with Zilberti on his back. In the crease, Goalie was in the... Oh, no, Zilberti was in there. Bad call, I think. The referee, was, I mean, Keschnick was back in. I think that was a, a bad call. The attack box and the extra man situation for Syracuse were tied at 11. Canadians will kill you, and that's all finishers. And there's Zilberti! Zilberti with a shot and a goal. They scored. They say he wasn't in the crease area when he took the shot, and Syracuse got the lead. Zilberti sensed that Hopkins was playing the Canadians tough. He felt a little seen. He came in. He faced his wingman the whole way as if he was going to pass it. Now watch. He'll fake like he's going to pass it back out. Then he'll inside roll, dive out, and lay it into the upper corner. Beautiful play by the Z-man, who really wants to be effective in this game. Look at the inside roll. Extends himself all the way. And then right away, Kessling's crying. He was in the crease. No dice. Good play by the Z-man. And his... Footwork was excellent that time as Zilberti kept himself out of the crease. And Loops it in the air, and on the bounce, Zilberti will play it. Zilberti, beautiful feet in front. Marichek behind the back and in. It is not a showboat move when Tom Marichek, and on the bounce, Zilberti will play it. Zilberti, beautiful feet in front. Marichek behind the back and in. It is not a showboat move when Tom Marichek goes behind the back. And that time he went by Schmunk seemingly, and then he burned him from behind. That's a, a Canadian classic. As Zilberti, beautiful pass by Zilberti, and they had him shut off to the side with a stick. Watch, watch Marichek. They had him shut off. They were coming across him. Marichek, quick stick, goal! Burns has his third goal in the first half. First quarter. Burns is just playing super. He's in the right place. They're taking other people away on the midfield. Or, and they're just hitting him right. Watch Dumpson. Beautiful pass. Get the ball down. There's the behind the back to Z. And Z. Zilberti across the top to Paul Gate. And there's the string dance off the stage. Here's Zilberti, makes the fake and the shot to score. John Zilberti makes it a 10-5 game. I know you weren't here for the Cornell game, but he played on golf before that goal game. For number 11, didn't seem to bother John many. Zilberti, He's just a Syracuse tremendous. That's his number 11, John Zilberti, and the orange goal and lead five assists. Watch him move from behind. They pass the ball around. Now his defenseman is going to come around when he sees the ball go behind. Now he plays Zilberti hard, but he did not square up. He was still sprinting. That was Moreau. Paul has four goals and two assists. Marichek has what? Four goals or three? Well, oh. There's one more for Zilberti. 16 to 5 now. Second goal of the game for John. He goes to five assists. You're right. Two goals, five assists. Nice pass. And just camping right there with the Coleman gear is John Zilberti on the man up. That was a seventh man up opportunity. Five goals to go along with his two assists. And it is 19-5. The goal to five. is fifth. It is by number 19. There it is. Just a, you know, it's, 
it's not. You see, he's maybe by McCabe, and it's going to be played by Schluter. Schluter likes to shoot in these situations. However, he feeds it in close yes. to score. John Zoberti. And the Z continues his streak. Well, that's a great, great job of Schluter to control the ball. And then look, watch the vision the man's got as he comes down. He gives it to Burns. Burns knows where Z is. They slide out to pick up Burns. Burns doesn't hesitate. He feeds Zoberti, and Zoberti does what he does so well. It takes a shot. Burns, beautiful. Sees the slide come up on the fast break. And so Birdie takes a left-handed shot. You got to give Burns a lot of credit. That's why lacrosse is a team game, Dave. Great. Three guys really took part of that. And Goals to go along with his two assists, and it is 19-5. The goal five. is fifth is by number 19. There it is. Just a, you know, it's, it's not. You see, he's maybe being patient. Barachek faking. Zoberti coming, feeding up top. Low shot. And the score by Paul Gates. The first man up goal as Paul Gate cranked a left handed low shot. Nice play by Marichek. He made him come up and play him. Looked like they were going to go to the back door to Z. And then two subs. Gate giving it up to Zoberti. They feed it to the weak side for the score by Brad Ruse. And Ruse now gets his third goal of the year. He was scoreless until last game. You talk about teamwork. This is very impressive, the way they are looking for each other. They really are. There's the ball behind. Gate gives it up. Zoberti looks, clears over the defense. Can you run a 2-2-2? Two, two, two. They feed it. And there, waiting at the door, is Gary Gate with his record tying seventh goal of the game. He ties his personal high set last game against Cortland. And he now is within two of the all-time Syracuse record. Guess who got the assist? There's the man with the orange sneakers looking for one of his favorite targets. And they got two men ahead of the field. He goes to one of them, Brooke Chase. He feeds Zoberti. Zoberti scores! Yeah. John Zoberti, ever the team player, was looking to pass it, perhaps give it back to Chase. And then he elected to take the shot. You know, you, you can do that too much. You know, you can, you can hold it too much and look for the assist. But uh, he did it right. There's Chase, gets the ball off to Z. Look at him, looking around. He's got, he's got great vision. And now he sees the man lunges. He's got a chance to get his stick free, and he just puts it one hop past Portuguese. And Zoberti, just a great job. One goal, five assists, and he caused his army to take a timeout. Fine decision by Zoberti. Got two men ahead of the field. He goes to one of them, Brooke Chase. He feeds Zoberti. Zoberti scores. <laughs> John Zoberti, ever the team player, was looking to pass it, perhaps give it back to Chase, and then he elected to take the shot. You know, you, you can do that too much. You know, you can, you can hold it too much and look for the assist, but uh, he did it right. There's Chase, gets the ball off to Z. Look at him, looking around. He's got, he's got great vision, and now he sees the man lunges. He's got a chance to get his stick free, and he just puts it one hop past Portuguese, and Zoberti, just a great job. One goal, five assists, and he caused his army 